Tesla's chief executive, Elon Musk, says he wants to take the electric car company in a new direction, taking the multinational corporation into private ownership. Shareholders would be offered $420 per share. That makes the company worth $80 billion. Uh, well, with me is Dr. Stephanie Hare, who's an independent analyst. Uh, Stephanie, interesting the, uh, the way that Elon Musk uh, gave this, this steer on where he wants to take the company. Make it on Twitter. Yes, this is a CEO who has a history of communicating to his investors and indeed to the public and his many fans directly via Twitter. But he also has a history of being quite playful and even mischievous. So it's just important to keep that in mind. I mean, he joked about the company going bankrupt on April Fool's Day, to give an idea. And it's still very important that we see really what happens next, because in this case, the wording that he used is really precise. He said he was considering taking the company public or private. And that's really important because if he, dis if he doesn't do it, he could be seen to have manipulated his own stock price. And the way that he, I think, would defend himself is to say, I was just saying that I was considering it, not that I actually was. And that's finally judged. Um, why, we were, we were talking about this um, earlier, about the timing of um, his announcement, mm. just after the FT reported that the Saudi sovereign wealth fund would be taking a stake in Tesla. Why, why would that have affected his, his thinking on the company? Okay, so normally if you take a stake in a, in a company and that's over 5%, you have to declare it publicly. But the Saudi stake is for $2 billion and that comes in just under that 5% threshold. So the Financial Times got a scoop on it. The Saudi Sovereign Wealth Fund had bought those shares via the secondary market. So Elon Musk knew about it. So it's really important for him to get ahead and basically not be completely scooped by the FT and say, yeah, yeah, I knew about it. And in fact, I'm thinking about taking my company private. Wouldn't that be great? So and it also plays into the fact that, I mean, it's well publicized that Elon Musk gets, has in the past got quite irritated mm. by the investors that he has to answer to when the company is publicly listed. Yeah, I mean, he took, he took questions in an investor call recently where he said, no more boneheaded questions, I don't have time for this. Um, so he's, you know, this is somebody who speaks his mind quite frankly. He is running a company that has a great brand, but it's really important for us to remember, you know, he's still got production issues remaining with his Model 3 sedans. They haven't made a profit since they started, um, when, you know, since they went public. So there's a lot he's juggling there, and a lot of that's about positioning and confidence and projecting confidence to the market. And if he can do this and get an $80 billion valuation, that's fantastic for a company that's not profitable yet. Mm, indeed. I'm sure it's uh, not the last time we'll talk about Tesla. <laughs> Stephanie, thanks very much indeed, Thank Stephanie.